What's up, guys? Um, today is uh, Friday, so it means another fingerboard video for you. Today we're gonna review of the Broken Knuckle People's Republic fingerboard complete, featuring Tommy. What is your name? Tommy Hamer. What product are we reviewing today? The Broken Knuckle People's Republic fingerboard. Name. How long have you been using this fingerboard? Since Christmas, so like what? Uh, like 15 days. No, it's not. I'll just go with 15 days, because that's right. about it. What, um, what, what is like your favorite part about the board? Uh, I don't know. For me, probably the trucks, because I've never had good trucks, but like I've also never had bearing wheels. And I've, the grip is better than my old board's grip. Uh. Oh, so bad. Just cut out the Where can you get this fingerboard and how much does it cost? You can get it on Amazon.com in like a lot of different colors. And uh, it's like 15 bucks for a complete which is a good deal and uh when you open it up the trucks aren't plastic the paint makes it feel plastic but when you grind a little bit with it like if you look it's metal when it wears away it's metal you can't really see that but it, it's metal talk so. about your other one you have okay so i have another one too and uh i actually like it a lot better well not a lot better but it's i just like the way it looks better it's um i don't remember the name but it is like a bunch of stripes going down it like full grain stripes with red trucks and black wheels and I put some stickers on it and it looks cool but they're both the same basically just the other one looks cooler I think that was so bad Ooh, that was really high name some pros and cons about the board okay so um some pros are the grip tape and uh how it's like it's it's pretty good I mean I've never had like rip tape or anything I don't know if this is rip tape. I don't think it is. But um it's it's pretty good. It's like it's pretty sticky. I can do some good stuff. Oh my god. I'm just gonna put this out here. It's a lot better than a tech deck film grip. Yeah, that's where I came from. Tech decks. This is my first board that is not a tech deck and uh You know you're uh, a real fingerboarder if you started out with tech decks. Oh. Posers are the ones who go straight to Berlin Woods and crap. You know, you might just lose some subscribers there. But, uh... Sorry! <laughs> um, no, but... Yeah, so I love it. It has a lot of pop and everything, and I like how it actually has a nose and tail. Mm -hmm. For this one, it took me a little while to figure out what was the nose and tail. Um, but... I just kind of decided. That yeah, let's show them the concave. I like to miss the board. Like, I was up here. That's, that's easy concave. Is there anything bad about the board? Um, I guess something bad is. Uh, well, let me get my tech deck tool. Well, one bad thing is the tool. The tool that it comes with is awful, but it's just a tech deck tool that's black. But it's. Mine was kind of bad, but you know, you always get duds. But um, I think one bad thing is that the bushings are really soft, like this, which can be good, but they like stick out sometimes i was actually putting it in as i was talking like um it'll show it to one side if you tighten it a lot so like show you what i mean like i like to have kind of tight trucks all right i guess you can see on the side there uh -huh. the bushing like spews out the side uh, and it makes it weird so you like tilt to one side yeah a little bit but i mean it's still good it still works because i mean Honestly, bushings aren't even needed that much because you can just go like that, but... I like them better. It's going. Okay. So, um, another cool thing is that it comes with a lot of stickers. As you can see, I put two of them, or no, three different ones on here. The Fingerboards P-Rep, which is for People's Republic. This, uh, P-Rep Fingerboards Square. And then this Broken Knuckle, because 
Broken Knuckles is the company that makes them. And uh, they, this also comes in black, and I got so many of them. And then I put on some other ones, like Xenos, um, which is my friend's new skateboarding company. So I put a sticker on there. Um, I just want to real quick show these things grind so well. Wow. Alright, so another thing I just kind of thought of is that these bushings, if you've ever had Tech Deck penny boards, these bushings are like that, but they're a little bit harder. But they're nice. Like, these are, these are good bushings. Bad wheels. Anyway, um, it, each board comes with an extra sheet of grip and a lot of stickers, as I showed you the stickers. So, uh, these are, like, a lot of stick, uh, a lot of my stickers. I don't have that many. Grizzly Xenos, again. All Xenos, Xenos, enjoy. Um, Tech Deck Grip. Okay, so here, here's two of the free sheets Grip comes with. They're good. Um, Tech Deck Sick Trick Tape or whatever. You get three of these with each of them. You get a bunch of these. People's Republic. Here's the white broken knuckle. Get some of those. You get some black ones. Get some of those. Uh, let's see. Alright, so here are all the stickers I still have from them. So I got this stuff from them. From two fingerboards. Uh, but I, I used some of these white ones. I used one black one, uh, one of these People's Republic black ones. I took two of them. Oh, you took... No, I yeah. didn't take them, you gave them, but... Yeah. Oh, alright. Well, some of these are missing, but I got more than that. And, uh, you get one of these per... I don't like these stickers, but... Yeah, they're not that cool. Yeah, but I still have them. I like, these are my favorite ones. Alright. So, on an overall scale from 1 to 5, 5 being the best thing ever... One being, I don't know, cat litter. One being, uh, let's just say one is a regular tech, tech, tech deck, deck. And like then, this, yeah, except and then, for it doesn't even get foam grip. And then five would be like Berlin Black Wood. River. Berlin Wood, yeah, not Black River. All right, so. Um, I don't know. You can't really compare it to those, so I got to say like two and a half. I mean, it's really good, but I've never tried any of those, so you got to leave room. And also, there's like... 150 bucks, which is really retarded. That's as much as my real skateboard. Would but you um, recommend this for uh, beginner fingerboarders? I'd recommend it for up to like intermediate um, because it's cheap, but I think it's still pretty good. So that was that was weird. Do you have any final comments before I end the video? Um, make sure you look on all the pages of Amazon because they have a couple colorways. And they're all right. I'll put the link for like this one especially in the thing below and like related. There's a lot of them. There's yeah. a lot of different colors. All right. And also they have graphic ones too. The so. graphic ones are more like ten bucks more expensive. Just putting that out there. I love. They're I love. cool though. So yeah, just look into these. They're all cool. I'm but. cutting the video.